All right, welcome to another episode of 840 Customs. We are on our way to go pick up a truck so we can uh, get a trailer to get another car because that's the thing we do. the truck we changed our plans a little bit we are gonna go pick up the trailer tomorrow uh, tomorrow my dad flies in and we will pick him up from the airport with this thing and then go grab the trailer and then go grab the car anyway here we go tomorrow just gonna call for my dad we are gonna go pick him up he just landed and we'll get out to Tawilla to get that trailer we got dad and we are going out to get the trailer hi son TV land? TV land, yes. Pulling up to the shop where you're going to get the trailer hooked up and head out. All right, we uh, loaded up the trailer. It's back there. We also have Ed. Ed's the guy. Ed's the guy. Yeah, so we're gonna go uh, <laughs> grab something to eat real quick and then uh, grab that car. So it should be a good time. Hopefully we can get it to drive onto this thing instead of towing it, that'd be great. It's always interesting what you see in Utah. Yes. All right, we're making a pit stop for dinner and then getting the car. Olive Garden, when you're here, you're family. We're here, Ed. Yep, we are. Yay! The big old boat. What are your first impressions? Um, I'm a flat tire. It's just low and it's in gravel. It's not bad. It's pretty good. No places for here. It's all clean there. Amazing. Here. Here. It's a this trunk pan. This. I like that there's like a foot and a half between the window and the trunk. A little filler. Yeah, there's definitely some filler out there. Yeah, yeah. There's more in here. There's some filler on the sail panel here. It doesn't feel like it's thick. So metal there. Yeah. So what are you doing in there? Trying to take this, trying to take the skirt off. But it's gonna take a little bit of finagling. It's probably hasn't been off in years, but yeah, I feel at least I feel the the tab take it off. The interior is actually in like pretty good shape. Like obviously like wear items, like the dash is cracked and the carpet's torn down here and the seat needs some new cover, but everything's in here, which is really cool.
transmission fluid. Seems ancient. Yes, it probably is. Very cleaner. Probably need that. Injector flash. It's trash. <laughs> There's another I'm bottle opener in the key, just so everyone knows. It could never be too far from the bottle opener. Just when you're drinking and driving. Well, it, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, good shape. The whole grill's here, which is always a challenge with Cadillacs. Are we doing this? We're doing it. Realign it when the car gets here. I'm more than likely we're gonna have to go wider. Always put your sale price accurate on your bill of sale. Always make sure that your registration for the vehicle you're buying matches the title for the register or for the vehicle you're buying. And matches the van. And the van. And the car. And the car. Yeah, they're the same. Check the van on this thing? I don't know where the van is on this car. Check the door on that. Okay. Got one right here. Yeah, seven one eight six four three two. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna lift the tire. <laughs> hey, I lied. There's another set of keys. <laughs> um, he has this. He, there's stuff you gotta fill on now. Oh yeah, absolutely. The name yeah. and. See if we can get this thing to start. Yeah. There's a can of brake clean right there. Is that the throttle cable? Starting? Go ahead. Yeah. Cycling. You can, try it. you can try it.
the worst running car I've driven in a long time. We're going to have to do some love. A lot of love. I want to make sure that I don't want to lose these because they're hard to replace. I bet they're almost impossible. So what were you saying about it being a rear loader? What's that mean? So the, the center diff um, in this, well, the, the rear differential, um, like um, most uh, Chevy and other brands they use uh, a rear loader so there's a diff cover and you put all the gears and stuff from the back. Okay. On this it's kind of like a Ford 9 inch so I think this is a 12, 12 or a 14 bolt. No! It's a front loader so you have a third member that has all the gears and everything and you just drop the whole unit in the front and you just bolt it down. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a battery and some transmission fluid and some engine oil and just to be safe. Um, I think if we do some diagnostics tonight, we can get it back together. So it's uh, I wonder like do a donut the same time. Oh, so now now that you've been here and you've seen the car in person, what how do you feel about it? What do you think about it? I think it's a good starting point. There's good bounce to it. Um, Typical rust spots, um, they're there, there's a few of them, but they're not nearly as bad as I was expecting. Uh, knowing Car! Uh, there is some uh, other issues with it, but I think all in all, it was a good buy. I think, um, yeah. I think we get it, we'll get it uh, running and driving quick, um, and then we can start the fun. Yeah. Yes. It's a good start. It's yeah. a good, good project. Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, Healthy boat. Definitely healthy bones. It's gonna be good. So I'm excited to put it on the lift and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. That's my. That's. The, yeah. I want to be there for that so bad. You can be, Hoke. No. For a small fee of 19.95, you can come with us. <laughs> All right. We just gassed up. We are ready to go. Back to the shop. Away we go. We have split off from the group because we're here at Amazon picking up a couple of things for the Cadillac. Uh, we're here to pick up a battery, transmission fluid, oil, and some starting fluid just in case. So we're gonna pick that up and meet everybody else at the shop and make some magic happen. And see you back at the shop. These panels just chilling. Down here, right here. Yeah, that's good. Safe. Everything's perfectly all right. We're fine. We're, we're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? All right, this is nice and furry, hairy baby. Lots of debris. Yes. Under here is about as you would expect. 
It's about normal. I don't see any like major rust problems or anything like that. The frame rails actually look pretty good. All of this stuff that's coming off is just undercoating. Pretty good. Not so bad. All of the bushings, all of that stuff are junk. But everything looks pretty good. Fuel tank's looking pretty good. There's a nice rock right here. That's good. Right. Somewhere stuck in there. But overall nice. So we can see there's a little rust hole right in that little apron there. But that is very, very easy to fix. So there's no no koi. <laughs> no bondo. <laughs> Some bondo for cleaning, but we fixed the metal parts. Look at that. Like there is no, I mean really there's no rust. It's, it's, it's very all superficial. I probably can get these bolts out right here. All right, guys, we got the car in the shop, up on the lift, and we were working on the engine. Um, it runs bad. You saw the, uh, you saw trying to get on the trailer. So we're going to try to get the timing set up. The carburetor is new and never been tuned. So we're working on that as well. It's uh, like two in the morning. So we're going to go home and we'll come back out tomorrow and try to get this thing knocked out. The next day. All right, it's the next day. We uh, spent the day uh, farting around and going to eat delicious food and relaxing and staying out of the heat. So it's about eight o'clock. We're gonna head out to the shop, see if we can get this thing running again. We are going to put a new coil in it and we're gonna put new battery cable ends on uh, just cause they looked pretty toast yesterday. So those are the new parts, everything else we are gonna try to repair uh, uh just to get it running the motor and everything is coming out of this car so it doesn't really matter in the long term but it is fun to just get it running so we have a base uh to know where we're going with so we have koi today here dad uh ed is already out there so we're gonna meet him and uh get moving yeah it's over there in the corner Good, how are you? It's like I knew they would have one. What year is it? That'll work. All of these on? That and battery cables. Battery terminal ends. Yep, yep, yep. I'll get you coated and then put a felt kit under it. You want a felt kit for them? Felt. Felt. Look at that. Essential. Koi, no. Essential. No Koi. Bad. It's good for the project. No, it's no. not. Essential. What it could be. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Do you have a digital speedometer? Just in case. Uh, no. It's going to make it. Are they stabbed or fit or they're probably glass? I'm about to guess. I think they're glass. You want me to get some barrel fees yeah. over here? All right. Fries are done. <laughs> I just got out to the shop. We are digging in. Uh, a couple things we're just going to do. We're going to put a new coil in the car. We're going to do uh, an adjustment to the carb and we're going to set a timing because uh, previous owner did not do that. So uh, fingers crossed that we can get it running. We'll go take it for a joyride. We're working on getting this thing to start again. Um, we put a uh, MSD blaster coil in here and it is not getting very good sparks. So we're gonna put the stock coil back in cause we know at least that ran the car and see if we can uh, get this thing to start back up again. The points on this were absolutely shot. So we put new points in it. We're putting the new coil uh, or the old coil back in and we're gonna hope that that uh, fixes everything and, and we're good, so. Fire on 
All right, so what's going on is the uh, carburetor that the guy before us put on here is not the factory carburetor. So you can see right here, see we're seeping a lot of fuel here. That means that we're not getting any torque on the middle of this plate. And so you were getting air and fuel seeping here. There's fuel seeping from the top side there. And uh, you can see that for some reason there's this plastic spacer in here, which shouldn't be here from the factory. So um, I am assuming they put the spacer on to clear some linkages and stuff to get everything to line up. And it was not supposed to be there. So this carburetor probably, I mean, it'll probably work at some point, but it is gonna take some effort to get this carburetor to work on this car. And frankly, we don't, uh, find any value in getting this to run because we're just going to pull this motor out and set it on a stand anyway. So we're going to go ahead and pull the motor out of this thing at some point and we'll start working on the other projects. So the idea of driving it is done for now. I don't think it's really worth even because the only reason why we would even go through this is just to fart around it for okay. you know, a bit. Around, see how it runs. We might as well just do what we planned on doing and start taking it apart. Start taking it apart. So. Oh well. Sounds like a plan. It was fun while it lasted, but that's why you don't get uh, super cheap parts from auto parts stores. Yeah. yeah. Don't get in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When in doubt, overspend. Yeah. <laughs> that's the easiest way. Right. Yeah. Uh, we are admitting defeat and uh, gonna move on for today. So that's gonna close out this video. Uh, we are going to end up pulling this entire car apart. We're gonna put a new motor in this thing. We're gonna do a bunch of mods. Uh, how do you feel about it, Dad? I'm super happy with it. I think if we really were cared, we yeah. could spend another half a day and get the carburetor where it's supposed to be and get it running, but I think we're just kind of wasting our time at this point in time when the end goal is going to be not to use it anyway. Not to use it anyway. Yeah. Koi learned some things today. How'd it go, Koi? I have attained new knowledge. Yes. You've been endowed with the knowledge. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of this build. It's going to be quite a process. Um, this is going to be just as in-depth as the Buick build, um, and it's going to be a pretty nasty car when we're done with it. So. I'm um, thankful for all of you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will be back with another one soon. We'll see you next time.